my beauties and welcome back to the Pear Bear Squad and of course Gaming with Shelly. Let's get on to the rules for our beautiful Whimsy Story Legacy Challenge. We are in Generation 1 and the outcome of this is without a home but not without love. Our story begins as most stories do with endurance. You start off homeless, you've gone into the world with nothing but a tent and a dream. And as a child you never had your own home. You were bounced from place to place, always dreaming of a suburban home to call your own, with a family of your own. As you have since you were a young child, you long for a life of normality. You are tired of everything around you being turbulent and broken. So you search for joy in the mundane. Life is lonely at first, but fortunately you find love with another homeless sin. Sin. Sim. <laughs> you have nothing, but it feels like absolutely everything when your partner by your side. You are a carefree, nature-loving and naive dreamer. Some may call you a hippie, but you just call yourself happy. From the ground up, you have to create everything. You create candles, fabricate your own furniture and search dumpsters to make it by. Eventually, you have a home of your own built by your own two hands. A tiny home. Not only is this a tiny home, but it is a suburban tiny home. Your dream is realised. Your goals for Gen 1 are to find love while homeless, Name all your children after nature. Must live in a suburban style tiny home that you build cheap free for your entire life. You start with a micro home for your young adult years and after that you can upgrade. You foster a very healthy garden. You are a plant parent and I mean your house is full of plants which fit into 32 tiles. Have at least three tattoos. Master the fabrication, handiness and wellness skills. Have love outdoors and freaking traits. And of course I added in the maker trade. You also have to complete the maker aspiration. Be self-employed with the freelance simply crafted career. Rarely wear makeup. Love to dress casually. This is of course the rules for only Gen 1. And we will of course fill you in with the rules for every single generation as we go on in this Let's Play. So I hope you guys have enjoyed listening to the rules in a different way to today. And let's get on. Oh my god, it won't let me. It won't let me do anything. Hey everybody! Yeah, our, our video did not start off great, did it? We 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 lost bullseye. We lost bullseye, guys. I mean, ah, cried like a baby. He was not a part of our life for so long, but with all of the glitching and everything, um, 
the time just kind of caught up on us and like each day kind of went by so quick and I am very very sad but I did put him over here by our grow fruit tree and I did put his bowl over here too um I'm just like really sad um if you agree to say you found Tina and Eric at grand um ooh, we're at level five parenting skills I'm trying to get like them to do as much as we possibly can um in all of this so we moved the bathroom outside and I bought these decorative dividers uh, so they had privacy um we turned the old bathroom just into our little woman's uh, room for now just so we could fit in our new arrivals uh, crips um the house is going to get very very crowded very soon because um because i have lifespan down on a short um it means like the kids will age up quicker um quicker than adults uh so we just aged up lily and now we're aging her up again and as well as that uh forest and fraser uh whimsy our new two new twinnies our little musicians they're all aging up on the same day which means we are about to go from having um one toddler and two newborns to a kid and two infants um yeah prank day was awful because we lost our beautiful um canine child but i'm happy for uh daisy because she got to spend those last few times with our wonderful wonderful are you okay my dear what says ouch from breastfeeding biting is a natural part of development but who knew these tiny teeth could be this sharp it's fraser's birthday the time just flies so it only told us about right so apparently one of the best things i need to change to is the sim 3 uh camera okay i've changed to the sim 3 camera i don't know why it's meant to be better but apparently it is okay so yeah um oh. All right, we have baby hungry. So mum automatically goes to the babies and knows exactly what to do with them, with feeding and things. Dad, I have kind of doing gardening stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's um, I want them to mourn him and kind of get through the process a little quicker. Uh. We do have birthdays soon and I kind of want them all just to kind of sleep it off for now. Um, so I'm going to have everybody go to sleep. So, and our girl is just like not in the mood for anything right now. So yeah, so as I said, like in the last episode, uh, Lily is actually going to be our generation two uh, sim. So I cannot wait for us to move on with her part of this challenge. But babies are fine. Tomorrow is... All right. It's two days until Winterfest. And um, because we have such a teeny tiny house, we cannot decorate the way we want. Mom, it's time for you to get up. Are you going to... Does she already know what to do? Yeah, she already knows what to do. I love that. Um, so, yeah. Actually, I'm going to switch back to the Sims 4 camera because with the Sims 4 camera, I can do this and it'll move her around. Okay, Dad's gone. In the recycle bin. Because our woman is not actually going to go to sleep, let's kind of work on some stuff. We still have to make another cylinder candle. So, girl, resume that candle, please. Um and send your finished work to the client we have till wednesday so we still have some days to get it done 
but I'm going to be like, we're going to get her to work work because it's going to help her emotionally because we did lose Bullseye. And, um, you know, I'll just get her to continue working on that candle. Um, how are you doing, my dear? You are still mourning the loss of our beloved dog. Um, but your cow plant is still alive. Okay, he's up. So how do we get a... Okay. He honestly does not know how to deal with kids. Change. Okay, so let's change Dr. Diaper. Okay, there we go. I cannot deal with the crying. Please stop. Um, so she is doing this. Okay. Um... Okay, we're done and we've completed that task and I got her to go and do some yoga and no, she's not in the mood to do yoga so we're going to go do some fabricating because now is the time for us to be really working on the skills that we need to do and that's the main thing. We need to do the wellness skill up to level 10. And fabrication has to also be at level 10. But we're at level 8, so it's not too far for the fabrication. Oh, our little lady is up. What is wrong with you, my dear? Okay, I'm going to have you go potty and do those as much as you can by yourself. Dad, we are going to have you work from home today because, you know, we did lose our little man. And because, of course, it is little Lily's birthday today and it's also... um. Forrest and Fraser's birthday. We're going to have Dad try and cook a cake. I always thought it was bake a cake, but are we out of ingredients? We are out of ingredients. Dad, how would you like to order some ingredients to make a cake? Um, shopping. Um, order delivery. Okay get a grocery delivery so we need flour and chocolate and milk to make got the choco berry and we got eggs okay so oh and flour okay I think that's all we need okay which okay this baby needs us uh, baby here bottle feed my little love okay so Oh, everyone. All right, so our delivery is coming. Mom is doing fabrication. I'm going to actually also need her to do a bed. Um, after she finishes this fabrication, I'm going to have to have her make a bed. Uh, we do have the infant crib. I think we've got two infant cribs. Hello, Kiko. Hey, Daisy. I feel like trying something new and exciting, something like changed in careers. What do you think? I think you should definitely follow your heart. Always follow your heart. Um, so let's go. Can we pop this in a sink? We can. Okay. You are feeding babies. Okay, our mail has been delivered. All right, we owe bills. 468 simoleons. Okay, so let's have dad um, pay the bills and to also get the mail. Um... Have you got work today, Dad? No, oh my God, you've got today off, which is awesome. Yay, our delivery has just come. Um, can we go and greet our grocer and accept the order? These are out of season. Uh, hi, Angela Pleasant. Accept our delivery. All right, Mum is doing... I had her fabricate a bookshelf. Now I'm going to have her fabricate a single bed because Daisy is aging up today. And that also means um, space is about to get very... Ooh. Ooh, a kid's bed. Okay, awesome. I'll get you to do a normal uh, fabrication of a bed. Okay, so... Um, Daisy's aging up today and the kids are aging up today. The problem is right now we don't have a lot of space. Let's mop. 
uh, no, I'll get dad to help today. So we're probably going to have to crack out our old tent. And mum and dad's probably going to have to sleep in the tent for a while. Which is okay. We got our... Where is our... Can you just please come and unload the delivery bag? Thank you very much. So we've got some pears. And we've got some grow fruit. We have some strawberries. Oh my god, do we have poop? We've got poop. We have poop. My girl is still so sad. Because she has to stand out her zone. I see, I want to really blend this in with the rest of it. I need to figure out how to blend. Alright, um, Lex, are we able to now actually bake a cake for our beautiful Daisy? Sorry, not Daisy, for Lily. Um, yes, we are. We can bake a cake for her. Awesome. I can't remember. Do we actually have a cake in the fridge? Have I just wasted ingredients? Have we actually got a cake um, in the fridge? Okay. <sighs> fridge does not want to open for me, my dears. Shush, babes. Okay. I don't know what's going on right now with the game. There is so much going on, it's unreal. Would you like to go out here? What is happening? You're going to go and cook the cake, okay. Our girl is sad, but I am going to have her go play with her dolls. Where's my attention from feeling hurt? Oh, no way. Um... Mum, are you done? Okay, she is level 9 of the fabrication skill. So we are in the final... Oh my god, is it snowing? Who is crying? Okay. Uh, Forrest needs to have his diaper changed. Okay, and then we're going to have to age up our infants first. While dad um, bakes cake for us to age up Daisy. Okay, let's age these babies up. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Fraser, okay, so randomize, and he is a cautious uh, infant. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at the way he just floated down. And Forrest will be a wiggly baby. <laughs> um, okay. So, he is taking pictures. Oh, that's cute. Can you go back here, please, and finish making this chocolate cake? And mum will make sure that everybody is... Okay. All right, okay, uh, so I'm going to quickly see if I can do some moving around. Okay, I did a little bit of moving around, but it's not going to work for long. So I have the two infant beds in here, so the kitchen is now ten times smaller. Um, but we can access both of the infant cribs, so I'm hoping Dad just leaves the kids alone. Um, play peek a oh my god. Um... We have mum bringing Daisy in to blow her cake out. Where are you going now, my dear? So a part of me cannot wait for mum and dad to age up because we really need a bigger space now. Um, okay, so we didn't get to work on any of Lily's skills because of her birthday. Uh, all right, so look at this here. Just so you see, it actually is, right, because we've already aged up uh, Forrest and Fraser, so they are now here. Forrest and Fraser's birthdays are the day after Winterfest. And then here is her birthday, but where is Daddy's birthday? Where is the Daddy's? Where is Lex's birthday? All right, Lex's birthday is on skill day. Okay, that's kind of cool. But yeah, um, their birthdays are still in the first week of spring. Um, so we've got 
his on day one of spring and hers is on day six of spring yeah so yeah okay we've got literally a whole week older mice okay what's up um Lily aged up. Okay, so we're gonna randomize. So she is apparently a neat sim. Oh no, wait, we've got to use some of uh, Generation Two's traits. Okay, frick, frack, frick. Where is it? Where's my notebook? Okay, okay. So for Generation Two, Lily has to have on flirty, family or and family oriented sims. Because she's still young, I don't think we have any of that for her just yet so I'm just gonna double check niche um represent island child of the island I'm still thinking like loves outdoors is a good one and because she has to have at least one animal in the house uh, household at um part of her life that would be something but can we actually get some of the right no so I'm thinking because she is an animal lover, I'm not sure if we'll go for cat lover this time or dog lover. Um, but niche is a good one to have. She want to keep a, a clean house. Um, create a self short genius goofball. Wouldn't she have to be a goofball so she could have fun with the kids? Okay. So, because she doesn't have the adult aspirations yet, we're going to go with, uh, let's see what the, um, Joel, get her the creativity one. There we go. Okay. She is very, very cute. Very, very cute. Let's throw this away. Um, you're getting another call, an unknown caller. Um, just hang up. We don't care. No, he doesn't want to. Okay, so Forrest is very hungry. Okay, I'm sorry, Forrest. Mum is already feeding Forrest. All right? And um, this one is for no, it's Fraser, but Forrest is hungry. So, Dad, you're going to have to feed our wonderful little boy. Baby care, let's um, feed him. Okay, there we go. Um, but kids are being fed. You're still sad about Bullseye. And we have snow, which means everybody is going to be cold all the time. Everybody is going to be inside. And you actually need to do homework. Do homework. Okay. So I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. I had to move this outside because, you know, to make room. We still don't have a bed for her. Oh, crike. Okay, so Daisy, when you're finished, we need you to... Wiggly infant. We need you to scrap this fabrication. And you're going to have to make a fabricated bed. Oh, look at my lovely man. Okay, so you can put little... Little man down. How are you doing? You want a nap. So you're going to try and go nighty-night. Okay, so she has scrapped that, um, but we still need you to fabricate a bed for our lady. Okay, she has nowhere to sleep, so you need to fabricate a, a bed. Can we not do the kids' bed now? Okay, so we'll have to fabricate. We'll go for this one. Okay. Right, let's go and see our girl. Are you cold? No, well, she's in her winter wear, so she's not going to be cold. Um, can kids? Oh wow, she can practice yoga too. The humor and hygiene festival. No, thank you. Um, but now because the kid, like, obviously, uh, Lily is older. Uh, Dad, we're going to need you to come and supercell everything. Okay. This computer doll, like, um, I'm going to have to put this into 
Oh god, what's going on? Because it's so chaotic now, um, it's going to be hard to do things. Okay, but she's fabricating a bed. Awesome. Okay, I've done a little bit of a a glamour haul for the family. Why do I keep fast forwarding? Okay, um, one toddler is asleep, the other is not. What have you, uh, why, are, why have you stopped again? Why has this stopped again? <sighs> for the love of crike, Daisy has scrapped any of the dyes. Yeah, yeah, okay, we get it. Um, I think it's because I keep making her stop when I go to do things with the other family. So we're going to have to scrap some stuff where I would bits and pieces. So let's recycle some things from the inventory. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, we can scrap some of the apples. Um... We don't need that, so we can scrap that. We can do this with the poop. The poop. Makes me sad. <laughs> Alright, well we can scrap them. Okay, so go and make yourself some more bits and pieces. Um, I think we still have these in. We should, yeah. So can we just unwrap one, please, and auto use this okay after you have done this okay after you've recycled um oh okay yeah we have to actually ship this okay all right can you actually put him in his crib please i have him bonding with lily because she feels like um she's been left out which uh, to me is very puzzling it is very puzzling for me because are you tired my love that's why he's so grumpy all right we can come back out and we can definitely chat with our beautiful um firstborn she feels wronged by him because um you know he's spending so much time with the newborns but like um i think that's a normal I was the only kid kind of thing and um dude where are you going chat with Lily oh it's so freaking cute um congratulations on your recent birthday well thank you kind lady I don't know who you are but thank you so much um I think do you know what would be a very good bonding all right why don't we have them have a snowball fight Kodak moments, guys. Kodak moments. Um, I think that's really cool, actually. Kodak moment. We're having a Kodak moment. Okay. Let's recycle the bottle. They're having a snare bite. Oh, my God. So freaking cute. Okay. Toddlers are in bed, so we're not going to worry too much about the toddlers. Um... Not toddlers, sorry, infants. I would like. Can you actually try and go nighty night? Good boy. Okay, let them have their little kind of bonding time. She needs it. She honestly does. She feels wronged by her parents. And they're spending too much time with the babies. It's like I don't exist anymore. Well, that's what's like. Okay. So we've got loyal green fiend, loves outdoors, he likes painting and he likes music and he likes the colours brown and green and he likes garden decor. Okay, that's kind of cool. He's a gardener and he's had a high school graduate. Good friends and father, adoring outdoorsy, close knit. Okay, and then her opinions on her mum are... Loves adores a freaking and a maker. She loves cooking, fitness, knitting, wellness, cross stitch, gardening, and handiness. And she likes 
suburban contemporary decor and garden decor. Okay, I love that. She's a freelance uh, crafter at Simply Crafted. Good friends and mother. And they have the... No sentiments, but they're in the close-knit kind of category. Oh, okay. Um, do you have any... Friend, brother, Wiggly. <laughs> I do want her to bond with them as well. This kid, are you not asleep yet? Go night-night. Dude, go night-night. Come on. Forrest does not want to go night-night. Why does he not want to go night-night? He's trying. Needs help. Okay. Um, what's going on? Like, is he not trying to go to sleep? Does he not want to go to sleep? Oh, poor little sausage is he's just fussing, he wants mummy. Um, okay, but we still don't have a bed for. Lily so I'm gonna have her go and sleep in her mum and dad's bed so we're gonna put an end to that how did you get down here how did okay mom let's put Forrest to bed oh dad's already doing it He's like, what is going on? How are you out of bed? So pick up Forrest, please. Let's put Forrest to bed. Because the little scamp somehow wiggled out of the crib. So we need to put these both to the crib, in the crib. That is like, for me, that is just totally insane. How did that happen? Let's go and feed this little beaut. <coughs> Let's get some leftovers as well because... I don't know, do we have any leftovers? Okay, how about you have some cake? Is the cake still good? Yeah, it is, it's still good. Let's just go and take a piece, okay? It's okay to have a little bit of a sugar fix. Um, when she grabs some food, let's go and have and see if she can actually fabricate a bed now. Um, we can get the fabricated kid spread. Um, we need the bed. So you're going to kind of have to pull the old finger out and just make a bed for little Lily. Okay. Um, what do you need to do? No, right, you're fine. You're on work in nine hours. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to get him just to quieten down Mr. Forrest because Mr. Forrest is literally a one of those babies who's like, I don't want to go to sleep. Oh, he's going to sleep. They've both gone to sleep. All right, awesome. Awesome, Dad. Okay, let's get you... To trim all of these because you know you need to and yeah that seems fine why is there a little kid out walking around at this hour of night how old are you you are a child Brody Burgenson is walking around after hours yay okay when is Lily's next birthday Lily's next birthday is between her dad's and her mum's. Wow, okay, we're going to have toddlers and teens and oh my god. So we cannot upgrade the house until literally after Lily's a teenager. So she's going to have to share the room with her mum and dad for a while because, you know... Yay! Okay, Mom, can you... I want you to get this bed fabricated this time, okay? Fabricate this bed. Get this bed done. Fabricate, fabricate. 
It's like it's stuck. Okay, we're crafting. So I was thinking what mom and daughter could do tomorrow. Did we do it? Did we fabricate the frickin' bed? What's going on here? Okay, I just sorry, I'm gonna have to check the household inventory because if we didn't fabricate a bed again, I might actually freak out. This will be the third failed attempt at fabrication. And we are at level frickin' nine, so we should not be having problems. Yes, yes, queen, we have the bed, we have the bed. And apparently I'm only in 31 squares, so... I want to try something. If we're only... Oh, 31 squares. Alright, guys, I'm going to move you to here. There we go. I'm going to pop you here. Does that mean... Huh. Uh, cause I have the little symbol thing. All right, so we're still on thirty two. Our next upgrade would be to tiny home, and then we can upgrade to small home. We can't go any more than that, cause it is the tidy tiny home thing. Um. I just want to actually try something. To be honest, can we move that out there? And it would have its own little kind of small entryway. Is that just going to make things more difficult? Or like just leave that back there so that we can pop the bed down this way. And can I move the door over a scooch? Can I do that? Is that going to make much of a difference? Alright, let's just try this now. Can I put the bed in? Okay. So she should be, and I mean, she should be able to get in there. Okay, just let me just, I need to double check. Um, Lily, thank you, my dear. Uh, please be able to get into this bed. Oh my god. Oh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. We got her in. We got her in. Okay. So she, the bed fits that way. So she's sharing a room right now with mom and dad. And that just means that mom and dad, you can actually come now and go to sleep. And we can actually let you have a snooze. All right. Mom, where are you? Mum, 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 sleep. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Hold on. Hot pause. Um, can you? All right. Can you get out? And mum, I'm gonna have you come. Little man is just after stirring. So I might get you just to soothe him back to sleep. Okay, and then we're going to get mum to fit in the bed. Okay, Lex. Oh my god, Lex. Seriously. Just go here. Forget your bike. Just go in here, please. Can you please sleep now? You should be able to scoot into the back. Alright, you're going to soothe this little man to sleep. Why are you not scooting over anymore? Okay. 
can you get into the back? Please get into the back. Okay, so the house is a little bit more chaotic and things are running slower because it's a small house and we're trying to get around and it's just not working for us. Um, we do have like dirty diapers, but I can't. Oh, there it is. Um, I had him take the day off work because we've got two infants. Of course, our little Lily has gone to school, so I'm going to have her um studying hard because her career um for her gen is i have a uh, for me she's going to the education career which means she actually has to have a pretty good um education uh but i'm just gonna have you crawl here just so dad can get in to change um fraser's diaper yes okay so I need him to change this little guy's diaper because, you know, he's awake and he's in the crib and he's probably freezing because we actually have no heating system. And I think I'm actually considering on um, getting a, he a heating system because of the fact that, um, you know, I would prefer a fire. But, um, unfortunately, we do not have space for a fire. And I've already come up with a plan because we do have more birthdays coming up. And that will come up in the next episode. Um, okay, I want to change him into his cold weather wear. So, that's what I will be doing. Um... Also, because she's getting a little bit, you know, trapped from being inside and things like that, um, I am going to have to complete this. I need to get up to level 10 fabrication. I need to make 20 candles. So I'm going to have her making as many candles as we can today. And then possibly uh, in the next episode, I do want her to be able to bring kiddos... Did you change him into his cold weather wear? You did. Okay, so can we put um put Fraser down over here and him and that are going to be bonding. Oh, you've completed your aspiration. That's fine. Um, our girl is like really, really sad about Bullseye. And like a part of me wants to get them another dog so that Lily has that whole like um Oh no 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 no, don't eat the cake, don't eat the cake, don't eat the cake. <laughs> Frick, I meant feed feed the cow. Okay, I can't have you dying on us. Um, I was thinking because uh, for Generation 2, Lily, she saw how her parents were and how they conquered everything together. Um, so I was thinking maybe that... Um, maybe she could literally um, see that her parents, like, they have a date night every Wednesday night. Um, which I think is uh, would be kind of cute to have a date night with the higher nanny in and okay ooh Winterfest is tomorrow frick um, we need to get a tree oh can we not just purchase ingredients okay so we need soy candles alright how about now oh Okay, okay. So, have we got anything here that we could recycle? Um, we're going to recycle all the bluebells. We don't need them. And the grapes. And the holly. And a pear. We have so many seeds. Um... Let's get rid of the fall seeds and the winter seeds because we're not going to do any planting in the winter. So we'll get rid of all the seeds. We don't need them. We got them for free, so we know we'll get them all the time when the gnomes are around. Um, yeah, that's everything. Okay. So what is your task? Because I haven't working from home today. 
Okay, no, we're having PTA, personal time off, so. Okay, um, I did get some, like, the plan is obviously when everybody ages up, I, do, I got them this, the air mattress, and we could pop it into the greenhouse and take it out every single day. So, um, oh, we got loads of bits for that. I'm going to have him go and supercell everything. That's how we're getting our dosh. <laughs> okay, can we go back now and make some more candles? We can. Um, I'm just literally going to be having her making candles every moment we get. I'm going to have Fraser and Forrest bonding together. They're going to just have the most amazing relationship. Um, so let's smile at Forrest. Can we not have a relationship? Um, I've not, you know, played enough with the infants to know what we can do. And they can watch each other. Okay, fine. Um, diapers are everywhere, everywhere. Okay, so she's making more candles, which means we only have 14 more to make. And does this build fabrication as well? It does. It builds the fabrication skill. And then all we have to work on is the wellness because that's only at level six. And because we are, oh, are you okay? Oh, okay. Babies want to go for a nap. So let's go and give them push um, forest to bed and then push Fraser to bed. Okay. Forrest looks like he got his dad's skin tone. And it looks like the Fraser got um, Lily and Daisy's skin tone. But one of them was bound to look like the dad sooner or later. Okay. Alright, you have done another candle. Let's do another one. Let's do as many as we can. Um, awesome. Okay. So... Are the kids just having too much fun together that they don't want to do anything? They're chatting together. Okay, Dad picked up. Um, Alright, can you go and put the little guy to bed? Thank you. They're getting fussy. Can you please parent? Parent, thank you very much. And then let's put a uh, little forest to sleep here. Okay. Alright, can we put little Fraser please to bed? Baby care. Um, button grip. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Oh my god, seriously, you're starting to really freaking bug me. Just do stuff. Okay, both kids need naps. Um, okay, that's another one done. Let's uh, pop on another one. There we go. Fabrication is at level nine. So I like the fabrication skill because I want her to fabricate as much um, do you know, like stuff for the house as possible. I'm going to get her to fabricate another, an end table. So everything that we fabricate that's too big will actually go into the inventory. I want to move the bathroom back inside, so I will be moving the parents outside uh, for the next episode. But because I have them work, um, her working on her fabrication skill, Dad has put both babes, babesies to bed. Um, I'm just going to have him come over here and just sit, um, just to have him out of the way. Um, leave babes alone. So yeah, I'm actually going to end the episode here because little Lily has gone off to her first day at school. She should be home soon. Mum is working on the fabrication skill because we have to max that out. But for the next episode, I will be moving. Mum um, and Dad will be sleeping outside on, in the greenhouse under the stars. That's where we're going to put it. And they're going to start having a date night every Wednesday. And we'll hire a babysitter for the kids. But guys, if you are enjoying the Whimsy Challenge as much as I am enjoying um, recording it for you, 
make sure you comment down below and uh, guys I hope to see you in another episode leave all of your suggestions and everything in the comments and I shall see you uh, next time bye